hi everyone welcome back to my youtube channel my name is bb Obatunde ikoto if this is your first time stopping by welcome and if you're a returning subscriber shout out to you you're the best so today's episode is another ask auntie bb and i actually kind of like this question which i'm super excited about i'm going to read the question and i'll give my take like i normally do and ask auntie bb while i read the question please don't forget to like and hit that subscribe button because you know my content is good all right so let's go hi bb i'm reaching out to see if you actually can provide me guidance on this situation so there's this guy i really like and i think he's perfect um for me i think um god has said that is my husband but i don't know how to go about it should i go ahead and say god said you're my husband <laughs> no okay should i go ahead and tell him god said you're my husband should i ask him out should i ask him to be my boyfriend what exactly should i do i'm not a very traditional girl so i'm actually open-minded to going to ask him to be my man but i'm a bit hesitant because i don't know what to do what are your thoughts well 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 you've come to the right place um a funny story when i met my husband god had already told him that i was his wife but he never told me because i feel like if he had told me that would have scared me but i think it's a it's 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 sort of manipulative for you to meet someone and god tells you that they're your spouse god hasn't told them yet so it's a bit manipulative for you to tell them that god said you're my spouse because if god has said something like who is someone else to fight against it so i think if god ever tells you that someone is your husband or your wife hold on to it until at least after you guys are I've gotten engaged and I'm like, you know what? God already told me that you're my spouse. Like, hold on to it. Because at the end of the day, you want somebody to come into a relationship with you by their free will, right? So should you go and ask the guy to be your boyfriend? No. I know many of many people may say, oh, but this is the 21st century. Women can now ask men out, la da 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 da. I'm like, yeah, good. But you asked for my opinion and this is my opinion. I don't think it's <coughs> <coughs> you asked for my opinion and this is my opinion I don't think it's a good idea for you to go and ask someone to be your boyfriend I think there are other strategies you can use to get the person to notice you like if God has said this person is your husband then there's a high chance that God wants you both to achieve something together so there are different things you can do I think the first thing I always recommend is strategically position yourself um, I was watching a YouTube video a very very long time ago. I think it was Tony Tony Olaoye and she said when she met her husband um, They had gone for a party and she had been eyeing him So he they were in like space for all the shoes So she put her shoes on his shoes. So at least when they are leaving together it can like get them to strike a conversation So there are different things you can do. You can strategically position yourself um, be friendly, be welcoming, be interesting. Um, if you guys are in church together, I don't know if you guys go to the same church or not, right? Always find ways to be seated next to him or in his row. But yeah, put yourself in his face. Put yourself in his face. Smile. Um, just be approachable in general. Confirm that he's single. Please, even if God has said he's your husband, if he's with a, another woman at the moment, it's not very nice for you i know many people say and i've also said this before that you're single until married but as christians right we should treat each other with respect right if someone if god has said someone's your husband and the person has a girlfriend at that point in time um i think we we should hold ourselves to a higher standard and not be trying to i don't like to say steal somebody's boyfriend or steal somebody's girlfriend i don't really like to say that but just respect people's relationship because at the end of the day you do what you want others to do to you it's, it's nice to snatch somebody's boyfriend but until they do it to you then you're like ah this thing can pain but as believers even if people in the world are doing it it doesn't mean that we should do it as well because people in the world are taking each other's boyfriend or whatever because they're a better car doesn't mean that you necessarily like be respectful i guess that's what i would say be respectful um don't go and start doing fake friends with his girlfriend if he has a girlfriend that that is not who we are as christians we don't do things like that like it's not said of us that you can't be being fake friends with somebody because you're interested in their man no if he's if he has a girlfriend just exit from your heart right now 
maybe they would break up if they break up that has an opportunity for you to start strategically position yourself but if it's some with someone else please let's respect that I know we all joke and say, eh, we're all single until we're married. Yes, but if people are in committed relationships, right, we should respect that. We should encourage that. If you now break up, eh, hey, you can now, should, like, place yourself strategically to be seen and to be pursued. I mean, I don't like using the word pursued, but to be seen, to be acknowledged. Do things to strategically position yourself. Just let, just be in his face in, in discreet ways, right? If he's in a house fellowship join that house fellowship right if he has a car he can ask for a ride i mean i know people that it was from ride from church she didn't have a car and they were going to the same direction and they just started talking and they had a conversation like oh are you single are you dating and i'm like no i'm not and she's like oh that i'm not like i, I won't be mad at being interested in us trying something out so like the different opportunities that you can try out as a believer to just put yourself in that person's face and the reason why i'm saying you should not really ask anybody out is because i've seen many people get married to someone like 10 years down the line like oh after all i never asked to be your boyfriend you're the one that chased me like or you hear things like oh yeah you weren't my perfect choice but because you were chasing me and asking me and buying me gifts and showering me i just felt like i needed because many people many men are indisciplined they will not marry somebody because they love them. They just marry a person because the person is doing the most being available and the person seems like a good girl. Please, you don't want somebody to marry you because you're a good girl and you're doing all the right things. You want somebody to marry you because they love you and they respect you and they want to be in a relationship with you. Because you see stories of, oh yeah, she was pursuing me and I just felt like I needed to say yes. So now they now you hear stories of like infidelity, like, oh, she wasn't my real spec, but now I've seen my real spec and I'm cheating on my wife. Like, just to avoid stories that touch, let the man own up. As a man let him seek you as a man let him make a choice because at the end of the day is the one that is finding a wife right let him find the wife there's a reason why Bible says it that finds a wife finds a good thing let him find a wife don't be the wife that is finding the husband because it's little things and I think you have to be very specific about him taking responsibility to court you to ask you to be his woman to ask you to be like let him take responsibility right if he's going to lead your family when you guys get married let him start taking responsibility from little things like asking you to be his woman it's very important very very important so yeah Please don't go on. You asked for my opinion. This is my opinion. I mean, you can talk to other people and they say, yes, go on, tell him that you like him. Oh, another thing I think you should do is you should test the waters. Just respond to a friend of a friend of a friend that knows him to ask him casually, like, oh, what do you think about this babe? Like, oh, do you think she's your type? Do you think you may be interested? Like, it doesn't have to be anything serious. Just casually, just to hear what he thinks, right? If he says, oh, she's not bad at all, or like, ah. Oh, She's not bad. Then the person can be like, oh yeah, let me introduce you guys. So you can always net, like rely and leverage on your network, on the people you know. Just let them whisper to his ear like, oh, I think you and this babe will be a good fit. Or what do you think about this babe, right? You can use your friend. And it doesn't have to be your direct friend. So it's to me as if no, you're sending your friend. It can be a friend of a friend of a friend that will do that work. Because who doesn't love to be a part of like a amazing love story i do like if you give me love story to run like i want to be setting people up i want people to be dating and be happy happily married and i can be like yes i brought you guys together and like i i love to be a lot of people love to be part of people's love story so who says you can't get a friend of a friend of a friend to test the waters and see if he likes you so that we have an idea of where to start from where to go from and all that stuff so yeah i think those are the that's my opinion about this question you asked. Um, I know sometimes it can be hard when you like, when you really like someone and you've not gotten that confirmation from God that this person is your husband. I know, I know how like exciting and hard and like, but don't go and start wearing the person out. Don't be, please don't be a stalker. Don't be a stalker. Don't be the first to watch all their Instagram stories like I retweet, right? Just be coming that and if they're on social media you can also slide in their dm oh that tweet you posted was very funny ha 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 many men will be like why is she why is she laughing at my jokes right so just be putting things there like let him see that i'm approachable like the light is green like come talk to me just let don't be just yeah be approachable be kind, be genuine, strategically position yourself, give yourself visibility around him, 
tell your friend to tell your friend to tell your friend about you to him like there's so many ways you can go about it without walking up to the guy and say god said you're my husband will you be my boyfriend <laughs> no don't do that don't any watcher or baby about today cartoons channel must not be guilty of doing such shoot your shot and by shooting your shirt, I'm not saying I say we remember. Shoot your shirt by making yourself available, visible, and all that stuff. So I don't know if anyone that is watching has like um, additional ideas. Maybe you've tried something in the past, or your friend has tried something in the past and it worked. Please feel free to just drop that in the comment section because I know she would be reading because this question is really for her. If you have a contrary opinion, you can also post as well. At the end of the day i don't have monopoly on knowledge and ideas like i'm always open and ready to learn from people learn from other ideas and just see what's out there so just leave a comment if you have any questions comments let me know below and before we leave i need you guys to subscribe because i've seen that a lot of people watch my channel and you guys are not subscribing you guys are not leaving comments you guys are not leaving comments i don't know what you want me to do about the fact that you're not leaving comments and you're not sharing my video it's painful it hurts me so i want you to change in this new year to leave a comment to share all right thank you so much for watching till next time bye and remember god is not angry with you i love you Mwah.